Alright, welcome back to another Embrace Destiny video, everyone. Thank you so much for clicking that link. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try and outline everything I talked about in this week's video in a very short time. So if you only got a few minutes, uh, you can check out here. If you got a little bit more time, you can click the other one and get a more detailed discussion. So, Ghost, what do we got going on this week? Faction Rally 2 uh, has finished. The second Faction Rally winner is New Monarchy, so if you pledge to them or not, feel free to go and purchase that sword. So congrats to everybody who uh, participated. Sorry if your faction didn't win. Better luck next time. What's going on next? Uh, Bungie is going to be streaming tomorrow on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Bungie, and they're going to be talking about the Curse of Osiris. So the first expansion for Destiny 2, Curse of Osiris, coming out December 5th, and as usual, they're going to be streaming uh, and showing off some things uh, in the weeks coming up. So, not sure if I'm going to be checking that out myself. I'm really interested, but I'm trying to ride the line between staying informed and getting spoiled uh, or too hyped. So, I'm really uh, looking forward to the expansion. It's going to be interesting, uh, really cool lore wise, and I hope for some new opportunities in the game. Next, this coming weekend, uh, November was at 1819, we got something called a Clarion Call. Uh, you can check out more details on Bungie's blog, but basically it looks to be some kind of an event where everything is going to give you double experience if you're running around the game with a friend. So uh, if you're trying to create a new character, you got a new friend coming into the game, uh, getting ready for that expansion next month, yeah, it uh, might be a good time to do it. You can level up your character really fast. And don't worry, solo players, they, uh, they specifically mentioned a couple of times that Bungie specifically mentioned that they're going to try and... Uh, provide activities in future clarion calls for solo players, so looking forward to that. Personally, uh, in my life, just got back from a week-long trip in Tallinn, Estonia, which is a country uh, south of Finland and west of Russia, so uh, if you're from around that area, um, Tare, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but basically, hello. Um, yeah, I was there for a conference for European Space Week looking at the Earth observation market. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with what I do, basically you can go to Northern Sky Research, uh, NSR.com, and I just look at satellite markets and uh, technological trends. And I was there for a week representing my company, meeting people, uh, doing talks, and I was even invited to... Uh, to basically talk about everything on a podcast, so I'll link that down below if you feel like just giving it a listen. I think it's about half an hour long, maybe 40 minutes. And uh, yeah, it talks about my research, the industry, and some other insights. It, it was a lot of fun to do, and I'm really thankful that uh, the New Space Podcast asked me to do that. Next, in other video game related news, you probably heard about Battlefront 2, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and the fan reaction. So if you haven't uh, heard about that, well, you probably had a more pleasant couple of days than a lot of fans. Basically what happened is Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to be coming out soon. It's got a new, it's got a single player campaign, which a lot of people are excited for, but something that What's not so great is they announced that you're going to have to basically play the game for about 40 hours before you can unlock some of the main iconic characters, like Skywalker, Darth Vader, etc. Um, or you can simply buy them. You can simply pay money and get access to them right away. And what was really insulting was when people were complaining about the amount of grinding, that, you know, repetitive gameplay to get the rewards that you want. Uh, EA basically said, yeah, well, you can just, uh, you can just pay, or they, sorry, they said that that 40 hours was supposed to give you a sense of accomplishment and achievement for doing that. And then they turned around and said, oh, you can just buy it. You know, the accomplishment is you have money. So, yeah, not a really great idea, and, uh, probably the worst idea, arguably, is, uh, a lot of extremely passionate uh, that's putting it nicely, fans decided that the best way that they urge their complaint is through death threats. So they basically threatened anybody working on any aspect of the game, uh, video game, you know, level design mo uh, modelers and character designers, writers, anybody. And, uh, well, it kind of worked. I mean, EA has now said that they've reduced the, the cost, they've reduced the amount of time that you have to grind to get the characters, so... I don't know, there's probably a strong portion of those people who think that they've won, but uh, I personally don't think that that kind of reaction is appropriate. I mean, that's like getting mad at your... Uh, 
That's like getting mad at your cousin for something that, for some rule that the uh, that the mayor of your your city has uh, enacted. So it's a bad analogy, but basically, death threats are never the right thing to do. And also, getting mad at the wrong people who are making these decisions. You know who's making the decision? It's the people. It's the sales. It's the studio. It's the it's those kinds of teams. And as they say, protest with your wallet. The same people who are making you upset over these kind of financial decisions are the same people who will get upset if you decide not to buy the game and not support it. So, yeah. Anyway, we're uh, I'm kind of a little bit worried about that for Destiny 2. Um, just to make this really quick, the video is getting a little longer than I wanted, but uh, a lot of people are upset about the state of Destiny 2. Basically, there's a lot to do in the beginning and then you run right into a wall and people are saying that how come all this stuff from Destiny 1 is not in Destiny 2. You can check out my other video for a more in-depth discussion on that, but shortly put, Destiny 2 is a, is a different game from Destiny 1 and I truly hope that now that we've had a couple of months to play the game, test it out, hopefully Bungie, we know you're listening, uh, hopefully they're able to incorporate, they're able to add some things from Destiny 1 and push beyond that to expand on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the game, I'm having a lot of fun, but I do agree that it's, uh, you know, you run into a bit of a wall where you, you're doing everything repetitive and there's, uh, there's no added reason for it at this point. So hopefully in future expansions they can add some more to it, you know, no pressure there. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching, and uh, yeah, I hope to have new videos for you soon. You may have noticed that the quality of this video, at least the video itself, uh, maybe not the audio, but the video itself is improved, and that's because the Xbox uh, currently has been updated, and it allows you to uh, plug and play uh, external hard drives for video game ca or for video capture. So really excited about the opportunities that brings. If you have any comments uh, on my channel or on things you'd like to see or just on uh, complaints or, or praise for Destiny 2 or other things, feel free to drop it below. And yeah, this video is already two minutes longer than I wanted, so I'm going to try and work in the future to make this uh, shorter, briefer, faster, better. And thank you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.